You're looking at the default desktop of Linux Mint 21 with the Cinnamon desktop environment. And in fact, if I go control or up arrow, and you can call them workspaces, virtual desktops, whatever you want. It's pretty much the same thing. You can see I've got some applications, the welcome screen. There, there it is, Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon. Terminal and a file manager running. We'll come back to workspace one. There's no indication, there's no, nothing visible to tell us that those other desktops exist. And in this case, I've got applications running on them. There's nothing on the panel to indicate that they're running. So control alt up, that's called expo. Control alt right arrow just shifts across to the right to workspace two. So there we can see now on the panel, we can see that the welcome screen's showing. But that's all. And if we go to the next workspace, which is control alt right arrow again, there's the file manager, we see it's running, but we don't see the welcome screen there. And the same with Workspace 4. So we'll go back to Workspace 1. What I want to do is bring up some different ways of getting an indication and navigating between them, uh, both with and without the keyboard. There's nothing to stop you from just working from Desktop 1, Workspace 1, uh, if you've been doing that, congratulations. However, now that you know, and you might want to try it out, or now that you know, you might want to get rid of it so you don't accidentally trigger it or whatever, let's go Control-Alt-Up. Now this plus on the right-hand side adds additional workspaces. There you go, we've now got six. And if you don't want them, you can just hit that little red X. So if you hover over the area and then hit that red X, and you can hit, hit it for these other three. I'm going to leave them there now, but you get the idea. You can just hit the X on these other ones, so you've only got one left. And then, of course, you don't have to deal with any of this. And I'm not going to get into the theories and philosophies behind all that in this video. This is just simply we're going to go through and go through some options of how we can see what's on the other desktops and navigate between them using the mouse rather than the keyboard or the mouse and the keyboard whichever you prefer there's very few indications on the system that this is present unless you start diving down into the settings so for example you might have clicked on workspaces and thought what on earth is that you might have seen some of the applets there and wondered what some of that stuff was in there just minimize that and let's bring up say the backup tool to something small so if we right click the title bar you can see here there's an indication there's the word workspace is starting to turn up a little bit for example here we could have it always on visible workspace so let's try that and let's move across a couple and we can see it's still there it hasn't moved and we can also right click again move to another workspace Let's move it to workspace three. And now let's go and have a look at workspace three. And there it is there. You can actually drag these around if you wanna put that one over here, and this one over there, if you wanna group them up or separate them, whatever you wanna do. You can have tons of fun in there. So in the system settings, if we go to applets, Grouped window list. This is the configuration button over on the right. Let's tap on that. We can see here show windows from all workspaces. So the only thing visible here in the panel is the system settings and this dialog box grouped window list. When I activate this setting here, you'll see all the other icons turn up. And we can actually click them if I click on the terminal, I think that's on workspace four, and there we go. Or if we want to come back to workspace one, the system settings, we can click on its icon, and we can see that these other applications, there's the, there's the welcome screen, the backup tool, and so forth. So now at least we've got an indication there.
obviously to have put those on those other workspaces we would have had to right click them and send them there or activate expo mode or go to those desktops with control alt right arrow and open them up there okay so now we've got a, an indication on the panel let's add a few more uh, let's add a few more tricks so this one here expo so this is expo which is control alt up it's expo so let's click on the plus and you'll see three dots have turned up down here next to the clock and if we click on that that activates expo mode you can either click on the one you want or you can hit escape and come back to where you were and what have we got in here there's not much in there I don't think activate on hover so we don't actually have to click on it now we can just hover it and it activates that way but we'll leave that on the default for now if we go back into system settings and into this workspaces one here uh, display expo view as a grid so that's the grid and if you deselect that then you get a different effect let's scroll down near the very bottom is the workspace switcher and we'll click on it and we'll hit the little plus and you'll see something turn up down next to the expo settings there and there we go four little boxes you can see the first one has got a bit of a highlight around it because we're on workspace one that's workspace two workspace three and workspace four it doesn't tell you what's on there it's just showing you a bit of a visual representation there and you'll see if I move this around you can see it moving you're getting a little preview there as I say it doesn't tell you that's the terminal running there uh, for example I want to go back to the system settings now I think I think they're on desktop one but I could also just click on their icon and indeed they are there there it is on one there's a few options in here I think uh, a visual representation which is what we just looked at you can see them moving like so or you can just have simple buttons if you just want to go to each desktop but I'm going to leave it on there for the video and you can also use a scroll wheel so I think if we roll the mouse so you can see I'm holding the mouse still but I'm just rolling the mouse wheel And let's do something about that sound I find it a bit distracting myself so system settings sound and then sounds and it's this one here switching workspace let's just turn it off there and now if we move down here there's no sound again that's personal preference whether you want to have the sound there or not and you can rename these you can see I've called this one music this one video so if we click down here on workspace three and we might call that files or something like that and if we now go back and if we cycle through them video files and that one's still workspace four so you can customize it a little bit there to suit your own needs as well so there you go there's a little bit of a look at the hidden desktops in Linux Mint Cinnamon